Before we begin if this is the first time you visit to our channel, you consider to subscribe. Trust Dr. Channel Dr. Ez. 25 diseases that remain incurable. Thanks to scientific advances in recent decades, numerous diseases that were once fatal are now curable. Unfortunately, much work remains to be done to find remedies for many other illnesses, including the 25 described below. In many cases, science has been able to develop various treatments to improve the quality of life and prolong life expectancy for those afflicted with incurable illnesses. However, as of today, no reliable, effective treatments for eliminating them yet exist. Asthma. According to the Quebec Lung Association, asthma is the most common respiratory disease in Canada, affecting 2.5 million people across the country. Scientists do not yet completely understand the causes. There is no cure for asthma, but medications, such as long-acting bronchodilators and inhaled corticosteroids, help many patients manage the illness. Though the number of yearly deaths may be relatively small, 150 to 300 in Canada, asthma sends thousands to the hospital each year. Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's is a neurodegenerative disease that affects neurons. While memory loss is its most well-known symptom, there are several others. Patients may experience emotional or personality changes, have difficulty formulating coherent sentences, and become incapable of performing routine tasks. The Alzheimer's Society reports that while medications exist that improve patients' quality of life, an effective treatment has yet to be found. Life expectancy is approximately 8 to 12 years. Arthritis. According to the Arthritis Society, this disease is marked by joint inflammation, which causes pain and stiffness. In Canada, over 4.6 million people are living with arthritis. Several treatments, including surgery, can relieve symptoms, but no remedy has yet been identified. Common cold. The risk of dying from the common cold is rather low, especially if you are in good health. Many may not be aware, however, that this disease is incurable. Essentially, the virus evolves too rapidly for scientists to have time to develop a vaccine or an effective treatment. If you go to your doctor for a simple cold, you're likely to be sent home without being prescribed any medication. CREUTZFELDT Jakob disease. Creutzfeldt Jakob, a prion disease, is a rare affliction causing the degeneration of the nervous system. While causes may be numerous, genetic, infectious, sporadic, the condition is always fatal. Life expectancy is unsurprisingly short, from four months to two years. Crohn's disease. Discovered in 1932, Crohn's disease causes inflammation of the digestive system, predominantly the small intestine, though other parts of the digestive tract may be affected. Abdominal cramps and diarrhea are among the most common symptoms. People afflicted with this illness experience occasional flare-ups followed by periods of remission. This disease still has no cure, but various medications have managed to improve the quality of life for many patients. Celiac disease. Celiac disease is an autoimmune disorder affecting the small intestine and is linked to the ingestion of gluten found in several grains. The Canadian Celiac Association estimates that 1% of the population lives with this disease every day. Without a cure, the best treatment for relieving symptoms is following a gluten-free diet. Cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease usually affecting the digestive system and lungs. It is characterized by the formation of excess mucus in various parts of the body. The thick mucus typically blocks the lungs, digestive system, and reproductive organs. While this disease is incurable, there are medications that slow its progression. Diabetes. Diabetes is a chronic illness that impedes the proper production and use of insulin. Several medications have been developed that manage the disease, but there is no cure. Patients that fail to correctly manage their diabetes risk suffering from several complications affecting the eyes, kidneys, nervous system, and heart. Ebola virus. Seen most frequently in Africa, the Ebola virus is a serious illness that results in death in approximately one out of every two cases, according to the World Health Organization. Common symptoms include intense fever, diarrhea, and vomiting. As of now, several experimental treatments are being studied in an attempt to find a remedy. In the meantime, doctors are doing everything possible to improve patients' chances of survival. Fatal familial insomnia. Fatal familial insomnia is a very rare transmissible spongiform encephalopathy characterized by permanent insomnia. 
those afflicted with the disease are unable to sleep. Death occurs between 6 and 32 months after the first symptoms appear. Fibromyalgia. According to the Arthritis Society, fibromyalgia affects 2% of Canadians. The disease is marked by sensations of pain throughout the body accompanied by intense fatigue and trouble sleeping. While it remains incurable, there are several methods and treatments analgesics, balneotherapy, physical activity, etc. that can improve the quality of life for those living with fibromyalgia. Glioblastomas. The Brain Tumor Foundation of Canada states that glioblastomas are the most common and aggressive type of brain tumor. People afflicted with these tumors usually complain of headaches. Treating glioblastomas is complicated due to the difficulty of removing them without damaging other parts of the brain. Life expectancy is approximately 15 months. Glioblastomas. The Brain Tumor Foundation of Canada states that glioblastomas are the most common and aggressive type of brain tumor. People afflicted with these tumors usually complain of headaches. Treating glioblastomas is complicated due to the difficulty of removing them without damaging other parts of the brain. Life expectancy is approximately 15 months. Herpes. There are two forms of herpes. Both are viruses. The first and most common type is characterized by cold sores near the mouth. According to the World Health Organization, 67% of the world's population younger than 50 years of age is affected by this first type. Most of the time, it is contracted during childhood. Many people don't even know that they are carriers. The second form is transmitted sexually and affects 11% of people aged 15 to 49 years. Both forms of herpes are incurable. However, only the second form is considered problematic due to its aggressive symptoms. AIDS. Recent years have seen much research dedicated to finding an effective treatment for AIDS, acquired immune deficiency syndrome. No cure has yet been discovered. Nevertheless, the Quebec government's official website states that most AIDS sufferers who receive appropriate treatment can expect to have the same quality of life and live as long as the general public. Irritable Bowel Syndrome. While irritable bowel syndrome is rather widespread among the population, affecting 5 million Canadians, according to the Canadian Digestive Health Foundation, no effective remedy for treating this health problem exists yet. Of course, adjusting your diet and taking certain medications may diminish the intensity of some symptoms, bloating, constipation, diarrhea, abdominal cramps, etc., but, for now, there is no way to permanently eliminate this disease. Ulcerative Colitis Ulcerative colitis is an autoimmune disease that causes inflammation of the colon and rectum. It is fairly common in Canada, affecting nearly 65,000 people. Those suffering from ulcerative colitis experience symptoms, bloody diarrhea, abdominal cramps, rectal bleeding, etc., for several weeks or months in between calmer periods. While surgery can stop the disease, it is not recommended for all patients. Toxoplasmosis. According to the Canadian Centre for Occupational Health and Safety, toxoplasmosis is caused by a parasite, Toxoplasma gondii. The disease is spread by touching cat feces, eating poorly cooked meat, or ingesting unwashed vegetables. While research for a vaccine is underway, no one has succeeded in preventing the flu-like symptoms of this disease. Most infected people get better on their own, but pregnant women and those with compromised immune systems are at a higher risk of developing complications. Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome SARS. Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome SARS, received lots of attention in the early 2000s when it appeared in China before spreading throughout the world. This pneumonia-like illness causes fever, coughing, and difficulty breathing. Health Canada reports that in the absence of a vaccine, SARS victims receive the same treatment as patients suffering from severe pneumonia. Scoliosis. Scoliosis is a deformation of the spinal column. There are several treatments, notably physiotherapy, to decrease pain. However, no remedy for this condition has yet been found. Schizophrenia. Approximately 1% of the population is affected by schizophrenia, a mental illness characterized by, among others, hallucinations, auditory, visual, etc., delusional thoughts, and inappropriate behavior. There is no cure for schizophrenia, but according to the Schizophrenia Society of Canada, the numerous treatments available can substantially improve the quality of life for those suffering from this condition. Rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease causing inflammation in certain joints. 
According to the Arthritis Society, the inflammation can cause pain, swelling, stiffness, and deformation, especially in the fingers. Contrary to popular belief, rheumatoid arthritis does not just affect older people. It can appear at any age. In Canada, approximately 300,000 people live with this illness. While waiting for the development of a cure, patients can turn to several pain-reducing treatments. Psoriasis. Psoriasis is one of the most common skin diseases on the planet. Nearly 125 million people worldwide suffer from it, including 1 million in Canada. According to the Canadian Dermatology Association, this type of chronic dermatitis appears on the skin, elbows, knees, scalp, etc., as dry or red patches covered with silvery white flakes that can be itchy or painful. Until science comes up with a miracle ointment, patients living with this chronic disease can access several treatments, including creams, to reduce the occurrence of patches. Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative condition causing the progressive death of neurons in the brain. Eventually, says Parkinson Quebec, such degeneration results in trembling. It is impossible to resuscitate dead neurons, but several treatments are available for relieving the symptoms of Parkinson's.